Hello, my name is Yassi. In, in our last video, uh, we have learned how to generate a package from the uh, project and then have it deploy in the SAP IPA. And actually, when you, um, when you generate and deploy it, and in the background, um, uh, you, you will deploy the model, you will deploy the workflow model to the, to the, to the SAP workflow associated with that. And let's have a look at um, how can we open the, the building workflow uh, management uh, tool uh, for the SAP IPA. You can simply copy the, uh, the domain, the domain of your, uh, your account, and then you can open and then you can replace um, the app with the LFP launch pad. And then you will, you will open the dedicated um, building workflow tool for your IPA tenant. Okay, so let's look at the, um, uh, the workflow definition. As I mentioned, when we have the um, project deployed, and basically in the background it deploy, um, you have to deploy some model, some workflow model. And then if you remember um, our, our process name, process maintenance, and then that's the right time. And as well as the, uh, the approval for the user task as well. So yeah, that has been having a built-in uh, workflow uh, capability uh, embedded into the SAP IPA. Now um, let's see how can we uh, trigger. And in last video, we also have learned and uh, we have created um, API trigger for the uh, for the for the process as well. So okay, um, we will make. Uh, how can we trigger this process? Because we will need to have an API trigger. Um, so that means we will need to make a post to this um, URL and the, um, with the header, with the custom header, uh, with the API key and with the payload. In order to insert, um, I'm actually of course you can trigger the process uh, with the workflow uh, by start a new instance uh, for the main uh, process uh, workflow in this case, and then you will just need to input uh, input the parameter um, the input parameter request by and approve by as well. Okay, um, in my demo, I would like to showing you. Uh, to do it the same the similar thing to trigger the this um, RPA um, a process uh, with the uh, postman and we are going to make a post uh, to the URL uh, which is uh, which is defined it which is the listing in the in the URL a post and then in addition uh, we will need to have a custom uh, custom HTTP header uh, where I have defined it. I have copied. I have copied my header uh, from. You need to copy your own uh, RPA kit um, here, and then in, before we we trigger the uh, to post this request, uh, first of all we need to have the uh, authentication. So the authentication, uh, which is um, your IPA, uh, we having the OO 2.0 authentication. And then you can uh, you can you can fill in the you can fill in the inf uh, with the grant type client credential, and then the access URL client ID a, a script uh, where you can get it from your own um, instance. Uh, if you go to your look onto your BDP uh, copy it, and then go to serv uh, go to your uh, trial account and then go to your service instance, and then you will see in your R SAP IPA tenant you have a a credential key you can simply open and then you are having the client ID create create credential uh, and as well as the, this URL uh, to doing so okay um, of course you can you can do the same thing from the programming uh, just fire the HTTP request the first step you will need to uh, get the request okay let's get the access token first let's get a new access token and uh, which actually in the background it's it make a post uh, to that URL uh, with the OOC, with the client ID and client credential and then as a result you should have the access token retained and then you fill in the access token to our Postman uh, authentication setting here. When you have a succeed to have um, the OOC token and then you can just take use this token and then in the background you are using your token um, um, I put a token here and then now we are ready to make a post and how about the message body? Okay, so the message body will be 
uh, exactly the format uh, like uh, in your in the payload um, something here you can copy it and copy it out and then you can fill in the information um, request by and 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 then approve by as well okay now uh, let's uh, before I file this um, um, request uh, I also I also have defined it I also have my bowl ready um, I have um, okay so the data we're going to update is we're going to uh, we're going to update our um, later one and when we trigger the board uh, as of an out um, for the direct customer uh, the sales price uh, for the whole uh, match we have 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, 3.6 and we are we aiming to uh, update um, the pricing to from 3.3 to 2.3 um, in this case okay which would be used triggered by the ball and then also the ball has been um, has been defined as a uh, under the demo and only in the background okay okay now I'm going to make a post by click send if nothing special uh, we have we should receive a 2.1 create message and as well as the job ID as well all right, so the the process flow has been triggered. Uh, if you can trigger, you can uh, you can monitor uh, from the um, cloud effect uh, cloud from the factory. And then as you can see, we having one. It's running. So this is the one. I think is the right time uh, for us. Okay. So now this one is um, approval. You having the sub um, step approval, which is running um, a running uh, waiting for our approval in this case. Okay, so if I go into my um, go into my inbox, um, my inbox, um, and then I should have seen I should have seen uh, my the new uh, the new request. Okay, I have only having the request by, and then that's what we have defined, and then I would click approve, and then now the first step has been finished. If we're going back to the uh, to refresh, and if we're going to see the board, now the board it has been triggered. Um, okay, now the board it's uh, uh, loading the uh, loading the job, and then you will trigger the mass maintenance of sales price. Um, in this case. Okay, now it's reading the data from the Excel template and you are looping the record by record and then update the uh, conditioning, uh, condition record, press conditioning. Now it has finished. Uh, first record, second record, and third record, fourth record. Okay, now the board has finished to update the mass, mass maintenance for the, for the press list. And then you will open the Outlook to send me the um, summary email. Okay, it's opening, it's sending the email to me. In the meantime, if we going back to my um, Mass for HANA cloud, if I uh, if I re refresh the page again, we should be able to see the um, condition among has been updated successfully in this case. Okay, with that, um, I conclude um, the, this video, and as you can see, uh, how we can very easily to um, to design and reuse um, a, a, a desktop um, package, desktop uh, package of um, SAP IPA, and then um, to match up to create some process and to match up uh, to orchestrate with some um, user task and then the automation and then for the runtime we can trigger by api uh, we can also trigger from the workflow as well thank you